Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be checking out the new Unreal Engine 5.7 Spatially Aware Retargeting feature, which allows you to retarget one animations from another, but also to take in account things like the character's physical condition or body shape. Now this feature is a game changer for retargeting because previously, if you tried retargeting animations and maybe that character you're retargeting to is bigger, maybe doesn't match the same body preset, you're going to find this issue where you have the character's hands clipping through the character's body. Well, that is a problem of the past with the new spatially aware retargeting feature in 5.7. This feature allows you to use the character's collision bodies to drive the animation retargeting, preventing things like clipping of the character's hands onto their body. And so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually set this up for any character you want to retarget animations to that might have this specific problem. And if you guys are new here to the channel, my name is Smart Polly. I cover all sorts of Unreal Engine 5 news and tutorials. So don't forget to leave a like on the video, consider subscribing, and before we jump right in, I want to make a quick announcement about my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. I've just added the last few lectures to the remastered course, and if you guys want to learn how to make your own game inside of Unreal Engine, this is one of the best courses that you can take, as it shows you everything step by step, all the way from creating this entire game from scratch, creating systems like the drag and drop inventory system, gathering system, open world map, save and load system, and even how to set up the game for listen server, dedicated server, and single player. There's currently over 270 plus course lectures lectures and you get full access to the course on my website smartpoly.teachable.com for just a small purchase when compared to other unreligious courses that charge an upwards of $300 to $1,000 or more and they don't even come close to the amount of content that is included in this course. So kickstart your game development journey today and pick up the course right now, link in the description below. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is obviously make sure that you have Unreligion 5.7 downloaded and installed. This will only work with the latest version of the engine, then you'll want to head over to the edit plugins and search for the relative IK op. So this experimental plugin currently is ex experimental. So you want to go ahead and enable it, click yes, and restart your project. And for this demonstration, I'll be using Mixmo animation. So you'll head over to mixmo.com. I'll be downloading this particular dance animation to test this feature. So I'll go ahead and download this file, the FBX animation like so. And also we're going to be using this Paragon character, which is free from Epic Games. So go ahead and add that to your project. So now with those assets downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and in my content folder, just create a new folder for Mixmo and we'll go ahead and import the asset. So here is the dance over here. So we're going to drag and drop this and under the skeletal meshes, we'll import the skeletal mesh, the animations, we're going to import the animations, we'll go ahead and click import. That should import the animation as well as the skeletal mesh like so do file save all and then to retarget this animation to that paragon character so here is the character right over here we can drag this guy in here so we can see what he looks like okay it'll just compile the shaders so in our mixmo folder we're going to right click this animation and do retarget animations and then it's going to pull up the retarget window in our case we want to retarget this dance animation to our uh, Narbash character over here. So we click on it. You can see that there is obviously some clipping over here with the character's hands. And so we're going to need to fix this using the new plugin that we've enabled in our project. So we want to go ahead and generate the retargeting assets. So over here we can click export retargeting assets. And what that will do is if we export it to our content folder, it will add these new IK rigs for both of our characters and also generate an IK retargeter. Now, if you're not familiar with the IK retargeter, I made a full video detailing how to actually use it, but essentially we can just open up the retargeter like so. Okay, we have both the characters in here. We'll just need to offset it. So over in the details, you can find the target and source mesh offset. So you can offset either one by just adjusting the value. That way we can see them side by side. Now in here, we can also preview the dance animation. So over here we have an asset browser. We can double click and we can watch the animation being played on the character. And again, you can see that the character's hands are meshing through the body. Now real quickly, I'm going to get rid of this drum asset just so we can see what's going on. So to do that, we can just go to our uh, skeletal mesh. So in our Narbash meshes, open up the skeletal mesh over here. Okay, so in here we're going to select under the skeletal mesh, the drum main. And then we have 
over in the skeleton, we can edit it. They've added these new tools uh, to actually edit the skeleton. And so we can set the scale down to zero, update the children, click apply. And basically that will just get rid of that for now. Okay, it's kind of just hiding it. We'll just hide that out of the way for now. Okay, so we have this weapon L. So weapon L, we can go ahead and edit the skeleton, select that, set the scale back to zero, click apply there. And that should hide that one. Then we should have another weapon. Weapon R, let's do the same thing, edit the skeleton. And I guess you could also do remove here. So either one. Let's just hide this for now. Okay, so we hit all that. You can save that and close out of there. So now if you go back to your retargeter over here, we can see we don't have the weapons and the drum. So now we can preview this animation. So again, we can see that the character is colliding the mesh, the hands. This animation over here, it's copying the same exact data, which is you know, what we want, but what it is not seeing is the fact that there is some of the character's body doesn't match the original uh, body preset. So it's obviously clipping through the character's belly right there. So in order to fix this with the new plugin, again, you want to make sure that you have the plugin enabled, which is the relative IK op plugin. You want to go over to the op stack over here. So under here, we have this run IK rig. We want to go ahead and add a body intersect goals over here. So it needs to be under this run IK rig. Okay, we want to check that to true as well. And currently we're debugging everything. So we can, you know, disable all of this and that will hide all the debugging. But over here, if we select this body intersect goals over under the details, we have the details panel, we're selecting this, and we can set a target physics asset. So the physics asset is generated for each character um, usually when you import a character into the engine so if we find the physics asset for our character this narbash character it should have a folder for meshes we have a physics asset okay i'm having some issues with the physics asset so we might just regenerate one you should have a physics asset okay i had some issues with mine because i deleted some bones so i'm just going to right click my mesh and if you don't have a physics asset you can just create one so you create create a physics asset like so just click create and what that will do is it will generate a physics asset with all these different capsules which are supposed to be the different capsules for the size of the body now you can see it does its best to generate the capsules obviously things like this pelvis is way too big so we can actually uh, press r and scale this down and you can even position it okay so you can position it up like so so you can go in and adjust capsules but once we have that we save that Go back to our retargeter and select that. So this is narbash underscore physics. So go ahead and select that. And now that we have a physics asset, we can start adding intersect goals and bodies. So you want to add intersect goals to things like the IK goals. So for our IK, you go to your IK goals. You can see that currently we have things like the left and right hand IK. Those are our current IK goals. And if you're not familiar with the IK retargeter, again, I have a full tutorial detailing this, but essentially we're going to take these names right here. So we'll do the right hand IK, go back to the body intersect and add that goal. So we're going to do right hand IK. So as you can see, if we typed it exactly to match the name like so, it will add this red sphere collision, which represents sort of the hand collision. Okay. So now we need to add intersecting bodies. So these bodies are what this goal is going to collide with. So we're going to add a new body and you want to match the bodies that you want to collide over in here. So in our case, we want to add a body for this pelvis. So this physics collision. So over here, we want to add one for pelvis. And you see if we match up the same exact name as found in the physics asset, it will add this debug capsule that demonstrates the physics asset capsule that we have over here. Okay, and to see this, you can disable the debug view right over here, which hides or shows those capsules. So we want to add all the capsules, all the main ones that we need at least. So we have the spine 03. Again, I'm going to scale this one down a little bit. We'll add all the spine capsules. So let's go ahead and add a couple. We have spine underscore 01, 
spine underscore zero two and spine underscore zero three. Okay. And you can see it's already working with the collision. So what I mean by that is if we disable the debug view, let's play the animation. And when he puts his hand on his belly right here, if we show this toggle this on and off, you can see that without this enabled, without the spatially aware retargeting feature, we're currently colliding and clipping through the character's body. But now with this enabled, and if we show the actual collision, you can see that the hand is colliding with this physics capsule. And so it's preventing it from actually clipping through the body. So if we play through the animation, you can see that the character is avoiding colliding with the belly. Again, we can also do the same exact thing for stuff like the shoulder, for other parts like the thighs. And you can see the right hand, we haven't done that one yet. So you can see this one is still colliding over here. So in order to add the right hand, all we have to do is again, select this body intersect goals. Let's go ahead and show the debug view. For the goals, we need to add the left hand IK. So type in left hand IK. And now you can see that it has popped out the hand. So again, this is with it off and with it on. And if we play the animation now, you can see now it's not colliding with the character's body. Okay, so this is with it on and we'll turn it off and you can see the clipping that is happening. It's clipping through the hips. It's clipping through the shoulders. Okay, this is with it on. And you can go ahead and do this. You can add uh, more capsules. So we can add more capsules for things like the arms because you can see even the arms here are colliding with each other. So you can go in and add in more capsules over here to more intersecting bodies. That way it won't collide with each other. And you'll need to adjust things like the actual physics bodies, like regenerate the capsules there. But essentially you can go in and adjust this. And once you've gone ahead and set up your entire uh, asset here, using this uh, retargeter that we just created, we can retarget any animation. So if we go back to our content folder and say we go and import any more animation from Mixamo, we can just right click that animation, retarget it. Now use our character and we can also uncheck the auto generate retargeter. In this case, you want to use the, the custom retargeter that we made. And you can see that it is using that spatially aware retargeter feature. We can add more animations so we could import more different types of animations. And you can just go in and batch export, select multiple exports of these animations and just export it into your folder. And then when here we have the actual finalized animation asset. So you can see it has those collisions fixed. Okay, so pretty awesome feature to be able to take into consideration things like the player's collision to prevent things like the clipping when you retarget animations. It's just more quality of life features to the uh, IK retargeter and just retargeting animations inside of Unreal Engine. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this feature down in the comments down below. Is this something that you might actually use? Have you had issues with certain characters retargeting animations with the hands clipping or just clipping in general when it comes to retargeting animations? Let me know down in the comments down below. But that's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.